Hi, it's Jay. Hey, on Chuck's channel, I'm not going to try and say his last name because I'm Southern and I tend to butcher anything, you know, beyond one syllable. But uh, on Chuck's electronics page, he's doing filament Friday, and one of the things he's doing is printing the uh, bearings, the one-piece bearings, the 62 and 106, I think. There's two versions. And using standard XYZ wear on the Da Vinci at all resolutions, I think he did 0 .2, 0 .3, I think he even did 0 .1. And none of them really worked. The balls stuck together, and it was just a mess. And he mentioned, well, you know, when I get Simplify 3D, well, I got Simplify 3D, and I've been following his channel. And I'll put a link to Chuck's channel right here. Good guy to follow. He's more of the engineering type, doing warm gears and stuff, and he's more of the hands-on engineer. I just play. But uh, anyway, so Chuck was, was saying that he's going to have to try this again with Simplify. Well, I've got Simplify 3D. So I'm doing the first run through now, and this is at fast mode in Simplify. I think you have fast, medium, and low, medium, and high. So this is the low, the fast version. Uh, it said on Simplify, it said it's going to take seven hours, I'm sorry, five hours and 30 minutes. It changed the update as it loaded it in. And it's showing about five hours on the clock. And, and you know the front clock really doesn't always reflect the true print time. So it's done, uh, you know, the first layer, I'll put the camera on when it started, but uh, it's done the first layer and uh, we've got about four hours to go. So I'm going to break it here and I'll intersperse some pictures and some video uh, of it starting to print halfway, two thirds, and then the complete. And then I'll get back on here and see if the bearing moves, which was the problem that Chuck was having. All right, this is Jay. Stand by, and we'll see how the rest of the video goes. Hey, well, we're only about uh, 25 minutes into the print, and I can already tell there's going to be a problem. Um, my Z-Lift isn't high enough. This thing is printing a little, uh, for all 62 of these little ball bearings, it prints a little uh, egg stamp, or bird nest, like this. And then it starts printing the ball so that it sits up. Uh, the problem being, because it sits up, and it goes to print that, it's clipping these and dragging the little uh, proto balls, the bottom of the balls, it's dragging the little proto balls and then laying it over uh, in different places. So I can already tell I'm going to have to stop this one and I'm going to have to change my Z lift to a probably, it looks like about another millimeter. I think it's set for right now two millimeter. I think I'm going to have to jack it up to three millimeter on the Z clearance. Um, I'll let it print for just a little bit longer and see if that's what I'm going to have to do, okay? But I may have to restart this print, the same resolution, but I'm going to have to change my Z-Lift. We'll see. And here's where you get to see what happens. These are just, these are just cheesed in there. So I tried it last night using Simplify 3D at a point one, and like 40, I mean, uh, maybe it was even 50 millimeters a second movement. So it's a real slow move, real fine. On most normal printers, that should produce outstanding results. On the DaVinci, I had a little bit different. Uh, it, it, you know, you see me uh, with the pictures, it, did, it didn't work. Um, one of the reasons I think it's happening 
One of the reasons this print is failing, I know is that I know of. <clears throat> on most printers, you have a nozzle, okay? And as your nozzle prints, it does that. Now, when you print supports or you print, um, well, at least on this one, when you print certain filled items and certain, especially with the supports, it leaves a little bit of hair sticking up, and that's what you print on. You know, it, the supports stick up, and you print on that. Um, the problem being is that on this, on the DaVinci, you don't only have that nozzle hanging down, but just to the left of it, you've got a pin that sticks down. If I can get my fingers to work. Just to the left of the nozzle, you've got a pin that sticks down, and that's your positioning pin for doing your bed calibrations. Well, there's two problems with that pin. Since I was doing a Z-lift, and it was putting the... the uh, can't talk today. Since it was putting the support in place with a Z-lift, okay, and it would lift up and go to the next one, lift up, go to the next one, I would fixed it where, when it was doing the supports, is that the head was dragging through it. So I just did a bigger Z-lift, and we were all good on that. The problem being, as this head goes around and prints the outside shells, well, it stays out of the way. It'll actually do a Z-lift from shell to shell. But the problem being, that pin that hangs down, when it's doing the shell, it just drags right through the next one in line because it's offset, you know, from the nozzle. So I saw that last night. I saw that that, that little positioning pin was dragging through everything. Another observation, and this may be software, uh, but I think Chuck's onto this too. If you look at the top deck of the part, the top deck's beautiful. It looks like it come out of any of my other printers. Uh, the ball's well defined. The uh, the radius inside the outer perimeters is well well defined. So when you flip it over, that looks like hammered dog poop. Um, and you can see, if you look through the sectional view, that instead of this nice radius around the outside edge, that it actually radiuses and then goes like this where it's melted on the bottom. It's, this is the bottom. Instead of being like this, it goes and eh, eh, melts. So, typically on most printers, if this if this same thing had printed on like a craft bot or a replicator or something, I would think that my speed is too low because the head, that big hot head, just it's it's staying down there and it's just melting the surrounding area. Now, and you really get this with PLA, not so much ABS, but you really get it with PLA. Um, and, and there's some tricks you can do, like set your bed temperature a little bit lower so that you don't get as much heat creep into the material. Uh, setting your printing speed as low, I mean, printing uh, temperature as low as you can. Um, again, not, not much on the DaVinci for that. Um, and basically increase your speed. So this is supposed, this was designed to be printed at like, I think the guys are what, point two? So I'm going to take it to point two and speed it up about 30% on the machine and see how that is. But even then, 12 and a half hours, man, pain in the butt. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to try that next. Uh, the, the only thing that worries me is that this, this much heat distortion and melting. Is I thought, well, maybe the bed temperature, that was what was doing it. It was just sloughing down. But there's the uh, raft, and the raft shows no heat distortion. You know, except where it was printed on, but, I mean, so like Chuck said, I'm just going to have to keep trying and see what's up with that. Uh, so anyway, this is Jay. This is not a rebuttal, but this is a follow-on to Chuck's video. And if you haven't seen Chuck's channel, I'll post it here. Go check his out. He's got some pretty good DaVinci stuff. You know, where I do a lot of general, you know, general stuff, he does specifically, like, mechanical and into the DaVinci. All right? Well, this is Jay with a big fail. Uh, but I do have my submarine hull that I'm working on, on the DaVinci. I took time off my submarine hull. So, all I'm missing is the uh, bow. And, uh, yeah. As soon as I get that done, then I'll have this on. Alright, this is Jake. I guess I can edit that part out. Y'all don't really know about the submarine. Anyway. Alright, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.